We're live! Hello! <laughs> no one's even here yet. <laughs> Let you guys come in. Oh my god, there's 320 people. There's 400. There's 600 people already. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. I'm so excited. Welcome to the live. Oh. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Where'd she go? Okay, so I am gonna answer some questions about season three and any other questions you guys might have and um, you guys sent some questions in last week so i have my friend maddie here to ask me those questions and cool actually i'm gonna pin a little comment hi There's 1,000 people. <laughs> Post. Can I pin that? Okay, I don't know how to pin it. Anyway, if you haven't seen the season three trailer, there might be some spoilers on this live. So if you don't want to watch it because you don't want anything ruined, then like, maybe hop off. <laughs> I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. Um, okay, let's get started. So Maddie, what is the first question? Okay, so the first question is, what was your favorite place to film? Oh man, there's so many beautiful places that we film, in Paris especially, as you can imagine. But mm, I think I'd have to say the roof of the Garnier. There's actually, like I have a really special memory on the roof. I feel like I need to tell it now. <laughs> um, I haven't really told anybody this memory, actually, probably just my mum, because it's very, very special to me. Probably one of like the best moments of my life, to be honest. Um, I'll give you a bit of a backstory. I, oh, hang on, I need to let my dog out. Go ahead. Go. So, um, I played guitar for about seven years and my instructor was somebody very, very, very special to me. He became family. He was someone that like believed in me and pushed me to follow my dreams. And um, yeah, he was very, very special. And unfortunately he passed away and before his funeral, he asked if I would play um, Here Comes the Sun at his funeral. So I did and it was very special. And then fast forward years later, season one, I'm up on the roof and I'm taking in Paris. I'm having a moment. We were actually filming the opening shot of the entire series, like literally the shot that pans down from the name onto me in the, the pink um, princess dress. It was like a big deal. I was super excited, kind of nervous. I'm like, gotta kill this. And I'm taking in Paris. I'm up there by myself and I felt quite emotional. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm living my dream right now. Like, how did I get here? I was like taking it all in. It was really hitting me. And then there was a busker down by the steps of the Garnier playing music. And he started playing Here Comes the Sun. And I was just like overwhelmed with this like amazing emotion. And like, that was probably honestly one of the best moments of my life. Just feeling like I was in the right place, that he was with me there in that moment that I've been following my dreams and he believed in me and it was just like I'm in the right place right now and so that's probably why I love the roof so much because it's like one of the best moments of my life was there well I just blabbed on <laughs> and we started pretty deep so <laughs> let's move on the next question is gonna be like what's your favorite color <laughs> <laughs> okay next question is what is your favorite find me in Paris season um, I feel like the seasons of Find Me in Paris get better and better as they go, so I would have to say season three, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. <laughs> okay, so 1905, 1983, or present day? I would have to say present day because I feel like that is where Lena can be her true self. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is, if you could, what year would you time travel to? Ooh, what year would I time travel to? I feel like as a cast, we get this question all the time. Um, 
and I always say the 50s. I think I would travel to the 50s because I love Greece. That's my favorite movie. But I just know I wouldn't want to go to the future because I feel like that would ruin life's mystery and that's like the exciting part about life, you know? So I think I would go to the past for sure. Aww. Okay, so what got you into acting? Hmm, okay, so I auditioned for a show as a dancer and they ended up casting me as a small acting part and I had a few lines and I was on set and I remember I think I was like 14 or 15 at the time maybe I was 16 I don't remember but I was looking I remember looking at my mum and being like this is what I want to do I was like looking at her on set and I was like this is it it sparked a light in me that I didn't even know was there and I was like wow okay this is something new I want to try this let's see if I can do it and I just kind of went for it and here I am <laughs> okay so how similar is your personality to Lena's personality Oh, we're very similar, like freakishly similar. I feel like that's what makes it so much fun to play her. It's because we're very alike. And what is your favorite part about playing Lena? Um, I love that she's passionate and she's got such a big heart and I feel like that combination results in like a roller coaster of emotions. She's always going through something, as you guys know, and I think that makes it really, really fun to be her. <laughs> okay, so next question is, what was the funniest memory from set? Oh my goodness, we have so many funny memories. Um, a lot from Offset as well. Actually, I'm going to bring a castmate on with me to help me answer this question. So TJ, do you want to come on? Are you on here right now? Is there any way that I can... I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm not going to be all the way up. <gasps> hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my How God, are you? I miss you so much. I know. I've, I've been watching and I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss that accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I need to tell the fans something right now. On my birthday, TJ sent me <laughs> the best voice note I have ever received in my life. He sang me happy birthday. Like, oh my, that was the best thing ever. I've been asking him to sing for me since season two. And he finally did. Me for like a year. Too, so, and he was amazing. I loved that. That was so cute. Oh, thank you. Okay, and then, so, like, my birthday is like two weeks after Jess, so she did the same. Which was <laughs> big. Okay, don't tell people that. <laughs> They're going to ask me to sing him happy birthday. It was awful. I, I didn't actually sing. Like, TJ actually has, like, a voice of an angel. I was nah, just like... We saw your Instagram post of you singing. Okay, that's singing to Lily, sorry. you know. Okay, let's, let's not talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to sing. <laughs> so... <laughs> The question was funniest memory on set and I was mm. trying to think like we have so many like I feel like when we're not serious we're just, it's funny all the time like we're just yeah. all of us are like goofballs but you know what I remembered <laughs> do you remember that time Castle fell around the bar it was the first time, <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time that me and TJ have ever seen Castle embarrassed and it was the cutest <laughs> and funniest <laughs> Like ever, we were in the middle of like a line run, and he was late, and he ran in, and like everyone's dead silent. I'm like watching, and he just completely wiped out. It was so funny. I still feel bad for laughing. I but know, I'm but like, even that I time that like... you remember when you tripped over those flare pants, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, "Oh my god, is he okay?" And I was like, "See, yeah, so whenever bad. whenever people on set fall, the mood is like very somber, and then it's just like me and Jess cracking up." <laughs> <laughs> no, there was yeah no, I remember that one um both from season three so yeah. I don't know maybe maybe when we watch it we'll think back to that um we will um the other the other thing because I was trying to think about it and I was like a lot of <laughs> the funniest memories I'm like if we explain them to people they'll be like Oh, that's that's not yeah, funny. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was thinking that too. But my like of... our funniest memory was definitely like the night that we surprised Castle. So like, yes. okay, we'll give, I'll give a backstory. So like, all of us had birthdays during filming. So we all like celebrated each other's birthdays and made it really special. 
and Castle was the only one that didn't have a birthday. So we picked a mm. random day in November <laughs> and like he thought he was just coming over to my room for us all to hang out. But we like dressed up like him. We had embarrassing pictures of him all over the room. We had a birthday <laughs> present for him. He was so confused. That we was such it. a funny night. I love that we, night. Because we made it into like a competition. We were like, who, what, who won? Who did he say what, looked, the dressed most like him? Oh, wait. Oh, who dressed most like him? Um, I don't I remember. I want to say it was I you. Like it was you. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Because I was annoyed. I was like, I've put in work. Castle. It definitely wasn't me. I don't know. Whoever had like the most colour. Because I, I like, I didn't have any colour. Oh. I forget who it was. Was it not Q? Maybe it was Q. It might have been Q. Maybe it like was it Q. Yeah. But yeah, do you have any other... Oh, Castle just said I choose Q. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Castle. Hey, dude. Um, no, the other funny thing I was going to say was, um, <laughs> because we obviously get so bored on set, we were trying to rank each other um, at the cast who was the funniest out of the cast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, a lot of the time, um, everyone was like, yeah, Castle. Castle's the funniest. But Castle and Ava were often... Oh, oh yeah. And, and Jake. Jake is very I, I know, I know. That was that was so I think fun, they were actually. top three. We also had that competition about set etiquette as well, which oh, I think yeah. I won set etiquette, but I think we all like argued about who was the winner of that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it was you. Realistically it was you. I think mm, mm, no. <laughs> well it definitely wasn't Castle Ava or Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. not. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I think. Is there any other questions? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna answer another one with me? Sure. Before you go. Okay. Okay. So the next question is: Did you keep anything from set? If yes, what did you keep? Did you keep anything from set? I did. In um, so my first season was in season two, and I don't know if you guys remember. There's a scene where um, Brian Kennedy they give Isaac a towel with his name engraved onto it and um, oh, embroidered yeah. onto it. And oh, I was I like, this is actually that. so cool. Yeah, and I've still got it with me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I that's my favourite prop. I didn't really much from set. I just kept, like, Lena's comfy clothes. Like, I've got, like, mm -hmm. that jumpsuit that she always wore in season two. Like, mm -hmm. the block jumpsuit, because it's so comfortable. But, yeah, I just have a few of her clothes. That's pretty Do you have um, your ballet uh, booties? No, I don't. I think Ava, <laughs> Ava must have kept them. She was obsessed with them. She Ava would have, yeah. She must have. I don't even think Lena really wore them that much. I think a little bit in season one, but that was more uh -huh. like, yeah, I didn't really wear them that often. I should have, though, because they're so comfy. Little moon yeah. shoes, I love them. It was like walking on clouds. Yeah, it really was. Anyway, thank you for joining. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm going to stay watching because this is going to be interesting. I want to know okay. what some people's questions are. Okay. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you again. Love you too, Jess. Mm -hmm. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I don't know how to take this off. Oh. Okay. Next question. Okay. Next question is describe season three in three words. In three words, that's all three I get. Words. <laughs> um, suspenseful, unexpected, and epic. <laughs> I took that one from Hulu, it was in the trailer, but it's true, it's epic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a good question. What was the hardest dance on the show? Oh, I would say for me, it was Libertalia in season two, and I think it was more about like the training was super intense for that, and the rehearsals were like really, really hard. Um, and then when we actually filmed the scene where I auditioned to play Libertalia, I was like, I was an emotional scene. I, remember, I think I was upset with um, Inez in the scene, and I'm like crying during the dance. So I think when we filmed that, it was just like a lot going on and a lot for me to think about. Um, so I would say Libertalia, but for season three, there's like quite a few dances that I'm excited for you to see but there was one duet that I did with Jake that was like super technical and it made it a little more difficult because he's like super tall and I'm super short so it made like some of the moves quite difficult um, and it was super technical but it was really fun and I can't wait for you guys to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay next question do you speak any French? 
Um, <laughs> you think I would after spending three years in Paris, but I know like the terms used on set and a couple of slang terms, but like I can't comfortably have like a conversation in French. I know you can. <laughs> you can definitely speak French more than French. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I can't like comfortably have a conversation. I think. I can understand conversations like if I walk by and you're talking about me in French I know you're talking about me <laughs> but like I can't I, I don't know I can't comfortably like sit there and chat with someone in French but like yeah it's I think I definitely learned more like being in France than yeah. from what I knew at school but if someone started talking to me in French right now like I wouldn't <laughs> I would be able to have a conversation <laughs> <laughs> Rory is very good at French he was like very good he would have, be having conversations on set the, and I, to be honest, I didn't even understand he how he picked it up so quick. But he was like the best with the French. Wow. Okay. Next question is, what challenges will Lena have to face in season three? Oh, Lena faces many new challenges. Um, as you saw in the trailer, spoiler alert, Nico erases her memories, so this causes many, many challenges for her, of course, and like. There's so many different sides to Nico that that itself just like causes problems for Lena and like confusion and you know she doesn't know who he is and like yeah it's just she faces a lot of new challenges especially because this year as well she's getting ready to audition for company so the stress of that which is like her her dream all of that on top of each other is just like super overwhelming for her so lots of new challenges in season three. Okay next question if you weren't Lena who would you like to play? See, I always used to say Frank. Like, I always used to say I would want to be Frank because he's such a cool character. But I feel like it's tied between him and Nico now just because Nico's so complex and, like, it keeps things very interesting, um, which I think would be really fun to play. But honestly, I love being Lena so much. I protect her with my whole heart. <laughs> I don't trade her for the world. Lena always. <laughs> Okay, um, next question. If you could travel through time, what would you change? What would I change? There was a lot, I mean, there's a lot of things I would change in history, a lot of things. But in terms of like my personal life, I think the things I would change, I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't want to change anything because I feel like the things that you'd think I'd want to change have like shaped me who I am today. and. I, help me grow into the person that I am and um, so yeah I I'm a big believer that everything happens for a reason so I wouldn't actually change anything about my own personal life Aww. okay next question ballet or hip-hop for me hip-hop but I know Lena 100% ballet like that's her dream since is to make company from from day one it's been ballet for her so yeah okay how different is Lena in season three from season one Oh, she's very different. I mean, you guys can see the change from season one to season two and how much she adjusts to like the new world and stuff. And so season three is like even more so. And I think that this season she really like figures out who she is and finds, you know, her true self. So season three, yeah, she's very, very different. Okay, next question. Can you tell us more about your relationship with Nico? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> as I said before, Nico has many different sides to him, which causes a lot of challenges for Lena. Um, I definitely would say that he interrupts her life, like, in the most unexpected ways. And I'm so excited for you guys to meet his character and just kind of see how that evolves. <laughs> So will Lena fall in love in season three? Oh, <laughs> Lena has a lot of love to give. There's a lot of love triangles all the time through the whole season. Um, but I think that, I don't want to give anything away, but I think that in maybe in season three, she like really figures out. Um, and there's a lot of like, unexpected love triangles and like romantic drama that you really won't see coming which is super exciting for the drama side of season three and um, and yeah I think but her true love is Dan so let's be realistic that's gonna be my answer <laughs> it's a good answer okay so this is more of a personal question when did you start dancing 
I started dancing when I was four. Um, I was a ballroom dancer, but it wasn't until I moved to Canada that I started doing ballet and stuff. So when I was six is when I did like ballet and acrobatics and jazz and stuff with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I met Maddie. We danced together when I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Okay, so next question is, what are your plans for the holiday? So I know in France, you guys have like holidays in August, I think, right? We don't really like have that over here. Um, but I'm technically on my holidays because I've been home for such a long time now. Um, I've just been like hanging out with friends and family and um, I'm going to be binge watching season three next week. Those are my plans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you like pineapples as much as Lena does? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone loves pineapple as much as Lena does, but I do like it. Although I would pick like strawberries and berries over pineapple any day. I love berries. Mm. <laughs> okay so this is another good question what keeps you motivated um, I do like that question I'm a very very passionate person so I think that itself keeps me quite motivated and I'm like very very determined to reach my dreams I also have such a loving family and friends that I'm so so grateful for they support me every single day so that definitely helps and I actually, I have two journals that I write in every day. One of them is like um, a goals journal. So you write down like three goals for the day. And the other one is a gratitude journal. I cannot live without my gratitude journal. So I think that definitely keeps me motivated, keeps me like on top of my goals. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question. Yeah, very good question. Okay, next question. If you could have one superpower, which one would it be? Definitely teleporting because I'm late for everything <laughs> and I've got like family and friends all over the world so I'd love to just be like oh hey I'm gonna go to England and see my family I'm gonna go to Scotland and see Ava I'm gonna go back to LA and see Castle for a bit you know like I'd, I'd love to be able to just teleport that would be very cool that'd be so cool okay what's your favorite food my favorite food is cheese mm. I love cheese <laughs> Okay, very last question. What is your favorite song from Find Me in Paris? My favorite song? Ooh. I forget how it goes. Oh, the first time. How does it go? It's one that I did with Rory. How does it go? Spicy. The Wi Fi. Wi Fi. It's called Wi Fi. That's my favorite song. We used to sing that one all the time, and I loved that duet that we did, that Max and I did, or Rory and I did. Um, so definitely Wi-Fi. Actually, the Finding Paris season three album also drops on August twenty first, so super exciting day. So tune in for that as well. I'm sure the Finding Paris official account will keep posting for you guys to like keep you up to date. But you guys will love it. And that's all the questions that you guys submitted last week. But I want to stay on with you guys for a little bit longer. I want to bring, is Ava on here? Let's let's bring Ava and we can ask her a couple questions. I can be the interviewer now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, lovely. Hello. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I should have given you a warning. Hello, oh, I'm yeah. actually eating currently. Oh, what are you, what are you having? Salad? Pasta? I'm having... Salads? Absolutely not. I'm having um, pasta and parmesan and yum, coffee. yum. Yeah, and what time is it there? Pizza. I guess it's like seven thirty. Well, seven thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, but this is amazing. There's so many people on here. I know. I was not expecting that. I know. It's mad. It's people really must nice. be excited about season three. I know. Okay, I want to ask you a, a couple questions that they asked me. Um, oh my goodness. How would you describe season three in three words? Well, I saw your words. And they I were good, like, right? They were really good. Um, how would I describe season three? Um, sunny. Um, hot in more ways than one. Um, and how else would I describe it? Very dramatic. I know it's super dramatic, right? Someone said as well, are there any new couples? <gasps> and I was like, yeah. you have to wait and oh see. <laughs> Someone what? says my camera looks bad. 
It's almost oh. like this way. Can, Can you see me? To me? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, okay. And um, also, I loved, I loved the Wi-Fi song too. <laughs> I love for I the first re- time. I know, I couldn't remember it. I, I thought know. you were going to say um, the one that we did the dance to in season one. The one that used to be Take Me to Church. <laughs> we did um we did a dance to take me to church by hosier to begin with and we were loving it and then the song changed and the other song is also good but um, it's good but it threw us off so much because we oh, were yeah. in the dance to take me to church and then we had to readjust uh-huh. the timing of everything you know that scene when our so man was like drilling us that was like real life yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's how our rehearsals actually <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah that was crazy and Someone said Jess like, looks yeah, like a golden goddess. You do, Jess. You do look like a golden Stop. goddess. That is so nice. Nice. Stop. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, what's another question? Do you have a funniest memory? Or did me and TJ like cover it? I just feel like there were so many little things that happened, but they like have to be there moments. There's so many memories. And not the funniest ones I probably can't say on here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was trying to like tell TJ what my favorite one was from that. Uh-huh. Like, from Oh, did you? My... Yeah, from Castle's That's surprise nice. fake birthday, remember? I was wondering, because I came on when you were talking about that. And I was wondering yeah, what you we were talking that was about definitely it. the best memory that we have. That was probably the funniest day of my entire life. And I can't tell you guys <laughs> why, but it was very, very funny. That was um, a very I can't memorable. believe Castle said Q had the best costume of him. No, he's like, oh, Q? Yeah, Q. Yeah. I, I don't remember what did. everybody wore. I don't really remember. We tried hard. We really I know, yeah. We did, actually. We did. We did. We did. No, um, no. Funniest memory. Best memory, I will always say, was the boat in Cannes. Um, oh, yeah. That's probably... I like I still think that's probably the best day of my life. Yeah, um, that was so fun. Like I've never like properly swam in the water like that before, so that was amazing. But actually on set, obviously there's a funny memory we always tell about Sean. Um, <laughs> Can we tell it? <laughs> is Sean here? Yeah, Sean he is probably Sean. is. I I feel so bad, in. Sean. We always tell this. We always story. talk about this. Sean will never um live this down. Live it down ever. But we were doing a scene and um, we had to, like, <laughs> me and Jess had to run away from the town collectors. <laughs> and it was it was actually quite scary in real life because they were, like, so close. Yeah, it was dark outside. Yeah. Oh, Sean's commented, for God's sake. <laughs> um, and it was actually really scary. Like, they were really close behind us. And then they come running and Sean just, like, face planted right <laughs> on the floor like <laughs> yeah because, because we had to run through a door that had like a little pathway but a pathway over top of like a pond or like yeah. a but like some small body of water mm-hmm. and yeah i remember <laughs> we didn't close the door all the way because we didn't have a chance and we were just like trying actually yeah. trying to run away from them yeah and we went yeah. straight through the door into straight the pond <laughs> it was really unfortunate but it was really entertaining <laughs> it, was, it was so funny <laughs> And that, they were doing a drone, a drone shot as well, weren't they? They were like, doing a drone done. shot. Yeah. Was it drone? I think, <laughs> was, was it, did they actually film it or was it a camera rehearsal? I hope they filmed it because I want to find that footage one day. <laughs> me and, too. And <laughs> me too. It, so you can all see how funny it was because that was great. That I know. I, wish, I really want. I, I really want them to release more like bloopers and stuff because we haven't I seen know. any of that Because we so got them funny. for our birthdays as well. Yeah. The birthday mm. post, and I was like, that's so funny, but I want to see more. Because we I had so many <laughs> bloopers. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, Sean says it was a rehearsal, but no one told him. So <laughs> oh, for- that's why he went for it. Yeah, he probably... Oh. See, that's the thing, Sean's committed. Sean Always. is committed to the job, and he will get the job done. <laughs> for not filming. So yeah, that's so funny. Actually, Sean, do you want to come on? Yeah, Sean. I saw nice seeing everyone. It was nice seeing you. I know. Um, I know. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait till we can see each other again. But we can all travel. Let's stay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to do that like trip that we're all planning. Yeah. I want to get together. I think we should go to Greece. The Mamma Mia. We were gonna go. 
Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. When we can, we'll go to Greece. Okay, so it's turning into a FaceTime that everyone's I know, I know, I'm sorry. Like, this is it. We all do it. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you. Right, love you lots. Bye. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's on. Oh. What did I just do? I get so excited when people join. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. Oh my hi. gosh. There are so many people here, Jess. I know. I'm gonna. Okay, do you know what? I'm answering Maddie's question from earlier. Look at said, you! Did you see anything from you the set? So You're damn good. right, I did. Are you look at season this? one back in it. You see what I mean? Come see this. Look how good he looks. Maddie, I'm so answering awesome. your question. Wow. This is Maddie, by the way. Hello. Hey, Maddie, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, I you kept look this, so I good. I you well, I say it. I say I kept. Oh no, he froze. Um, there you go. Yeah, I kind of just robbed it, so. It looks amazing. And you can, I mean, look, get, you can pull it off as Sean and you can pull it off as Frank. So You know what I'm so. saying? We're on the Fami and Paris official page. you got to dress for the occasion. Sean, your hair. Your hair know, is like... so different, right? Did you, did you dye it back or did it just fully grow out? I, uh, yeah, kind of. I had a job just before COVID uh, and I was still kind of blonde. And they put... A dye in it that was meant to be a washout, and that was seven months ago. So, wow, yeah, it looks great though. It makes your eyes pop even more, which I didn't even think was possible. <laughs> there are so many people here. This is so sick. How's everyone doing? I know. Let's see if there's any. Oh, I want to ask you some questions too. Absolutely, work to away. Thank you. All right. Do you have any like memories or like funny stories that you want to tell from any of the seasons? I want to set the record straight. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry, we always tell that story. <laughs> I'm setting the record straight for the 1,085 people here. You always get to tell this story when I'm not present. So I we're know. setting the record straight. I know. That I was a rehearsal. That. Nobody told me. <laughs> and <laughs> opens, you, ha you have to admit. Oh no, he caught out again. And then you guys went behind it and like closed it, yeah? And then when I pushed up against it, it like didn't move and you guys were behind it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because I, I guess if we if we knew it was a rehearsal, we probably just like didn't expect yeah, it to go but, right into the door. So we didn't close it all the way. And out. I went straight through it. <laughs> but the thing was, but like it was, it was, I think it was the shot where Christy was on the bench and the camera was like following us from the corner and coming around. Yeah, it and was. The door was here. And I just, you know what? I, I keep saying, I was. I wasn't told it was. I, it was a rehearsal. I probably was. I probably just wasn't listening. <laughs> you probably. Yeah. And, no. You probably were. I think we all were. Oh, oh, do you know what? I'm lying. It wasn't even turning. It was just us coming around the corner. I'm sure I was running that fast. The lads had stopped running. Everyone was. Apparently, everyone was. I know. Like, it was just st you. Stop. Stop. <laughs> it was literally just you. And next thing I know, you're come flying through a door into a pond, and like your little hat I was just like, tired, away. I genuinely thought Lawrence was gonna vomit with laughter. Like he was laughing, <laughs> he was, he was actually <laughs> gagging. Like, yeah, he was. But, That's uh, so funny. So much falling in season one. Oh my god, I was black and blue most of the time. I know. On season three as well, I was thinking about it. Like with that question, the funniest memory. Like, I am so bad when it comes to people falling. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel awful because, like, obviously, I want to make sure they're okay. But like I just find a human body falling like so hilarious. And when it's someone that you like that you love and you work with every day. <laughs> See, I think there's like this there's, this there's this split second where you're like, Are you okay? Yeah. And I'm then like, they are and you're like, ha ah! <laughs> I, I know, I remember when TJ fell in season three. He like really fell and like we didn't really know because he was like behind us and I turned around and he's just on the ground. And I remember going over to him, and everyone was so worried and I was just like making sure he was okay but like laughing through my words and it felt <laughs> awful. But as soon as I knew he was fine, it well, was I, mean, I, I even remember that scene United in season one where we have like the little dance fight. I remember just being black and blue after that because 
Oh, yeah. Remember, remember they wanted that wide shot, and they were like, oh, well, we can't do it if we're going to use the crash mat. And I was like, in that case... You just went for it and you threw it. yourself into those boxes, didn't you? Threw myself. No, it was, it was when you tripped me. I kind of did that side fall. Yeah, and then even at the end, when I leave and you like trip over yeah. yourself and you fall into I remember the because I was so full of adrenaline because that was such a fun day. That was our first time shooting together. Yeah, it was. So I was so full of adrenaline. It was so much fun. And I just kept throwing myself on the ground. And then I remember like an hour later, kind of in costume, and I was like, I could barely get out of my trousers. I was so sore. <laughs> Oh my god, I know. That was super fun. That fight scene was really fun too, actually. That was so much fun. Um, I was just thinking, I'm excited for the fans for season three with your character, because I feel like a lot happens for you. Like, I feel yeah, like absolutely. it's a big, yeah. I'm so excited, yeah, I, actually. There are a lot of people here asking, um, am I in season three? Yes, absolutely. I'm in season three. Are you not in the trailer? Um, no, that's that's why I got lots of messages after. I was gonna, I was gonna say something on my story because I wasn't in the trailer and people were saying like, "Oh my god, are you in season three? Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah Sean guys, is worry, in season three. Mm, you best mm, believe. Mm. Mm, mm, I mm. can't wait. Yeah, um, Frank definitely. Um, there's a lot to see with. Yeah, Frank you like people. your character from season one evolves insanely. Like yeah, so much. Even from Absolutely. season one to season two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like Frank goes through a lot. And I'm not going to give away anything about season three, obviously. But um, I don't trust any of you guys aren't screen recording this. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, even just even from the get-go in season two, I mean, when, when Clive gets deleted and there's that scene, you were there for that scene where I come out of the Garnier. <gasps> and I'm just yes, I know. Oh, my gosh, yeah. And I, I, was, I was a wreck that day. I remember. Like, I was, I was an emotional wreck. And I actually remember, and this is a lovely little kind of, behind the scenes story where we got the take and you remember how many people were outside and it was such a hot day and it was just so intense yeah and I was screaming my heart out and they called cut and they said that's it we got it and I turned around and you were just there and you gave me this hug and I remember I just the waterworks yeah yeah and you it did. Was so it was that kind of like it was a beautiful sadness you know because it was yeah. just what I needed and like obviously you and I have such like a lovely bond and you were just like oh and then I was like oh <laughs> <laughs> you know what I actually really want to talk about right now? Yes, ma'am. The fact that we like had a wedding. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't Can we know, just talk about this really quick? It's a I really just, long story. Yeah. But, um, would you like to tell it or will I? Yeah, I'm gonna tell the the beginning of it. Yeah, you Season you, you, two, work you work away. Season two. We loved as a cast, we loved hanging out by the river in Paris. It was like our favourite spot. Christy would come with his guitar and be playing music. It was so beautiful. We loved it. And we had Haribos, like the sweets. And Sean just like taps me on my shoulder and I turn around and he's like on one knee with a Haribo ring, like as a joke, right? And just like, he's like, will you marry me? I'm like, yes, like we're getting married. It was just a joke. And then it, this inside joke continued for like <laughs> the entire season, all of season three. But we just like called each other like husband and wife like we just it was a, a thing and then <laughs> season three we were rapping in paris and the last scene they were filming in paris on the bridge and i remember like me and ava weren't filming that night so we just like wanted to come and visit and i'm rolling up to set and whatever and then our director pulls me aside and he's like talking to me about all this random stuff about my career. And I'm just like, What's, why is he like having this conversation with me right now? And next thing I know, he he's like, I've always felt like I was a father to you. And then he's like, <laughs> 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 he lifts my arm and like yes. walks me down the aisle. Yeah. And like, it was filmed. <laughs> Philo like fully filmed this fake oh, wedding. Philo had we, steady cam. We need to see, we it was light. We it was a film. Everything. It was you the have most no, unexpected thing. Yes, you have no idea the amount of preparation that went into this one. I know, I had no idea. And you know, I'm surprised Ava didn't blob because Ava, like, I don't know how she kept that a secret from me. Like, honestly, you I was with her the whole it. day before we went and to visit you guys and she did not even, like, hint about it. I don't know if Jess, or you're Jess, hi Jess. I don't know if Jill is here, but Jill was, like, on it. Like, I was actually at home. I was in Ireland. And I was thinking, I was like, Jess 
I've been my wife for a while now. <laughs> uh, we should have a wedding. Like. And I made but a group chat, and I was like, lads, we're having a wedding. And everyone and was I'm so like, committed. Like, the bridesmaids were set up, the oh. groomsmen, and I was just like, wait, what's going on? And, like, Castle was standing there, like, with a little speech, and I was just like, what Like, what do I do? Like, I is it, like what's going on? <laughs> Gil, and, Gil and Layla were on it. Like, we, we wrapped, we wrapped um, the scene. And we all had our big hugs, and that was lovely. It was like, oh, guys, you know, like, that's a wrap on, on Paris. That's amazing. With the Eiffel Tower, everything was, was awesome. And we had our little moment, and then Jill was like, right, you, go, everyone, this, I, I'll drive me, go. It's true, because as well, we said if we, if, like, if we were to get actually get married, like, we'd want to get married on that bridge. Oh, yeah. We said that, too. That's so funny. Yeah. That just clicked. That yeah. just clicked right now. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean, uh, I mean when? I mean when? Yeah, because we're ma like we're married. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that, was, that was really awkward. That was... Wait, okay, I'm gonna that. see if like other people have questions here before I log off because I have about like 15, 20 minutes. Absolutely. But thank you for joining the thank live. You for me. I miss you so much. Oh, thank you all for being here. I hope you guys are all really excited for season three. We can't wait to share it with you. And Jess, I love the bones here. You're doing amazing. Mwah. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, cool. I'm going to answer some of your questions here in the comments and then I got ahead because it's almost three. Let's see. So what do you guys want to ask me? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're getting like the same question. So I'm going to address this. A lot of you guys are asking about Max because obviously you all saw the trailer. There's a lot of questions, a lot of comments about him and Thea. And I really, really don't want to ruin the storyline for you guys. And I know if you're a diehard fan, deep down, you don't want me to ruin it for you either. So... <laughs> You'll have to wait one more week and then you can binge watch it like I will and you can find out everything um, about Max and Thea. I really don't want to ruin the story for you guys. See? Don't ruin it. There we go. Okay. Next question. What is your favourite colour? Pink is my favourite colour. Um, Jessica, is it difficult to be an actress or are you used to it? Um, yeah, I, I like, I really enjoy it. There's a lot of challenges, obviously, but I love it so much that it doesn't feel like a job. It's just like my passion and I get to live it every day and for that I'm super, super grateful. But of course, there's many challenges that come with it um, on an offset. So yeah, but I love my job. Let's see what else. Do you, do you, did you start dancing ballet before finding in Paris? I did ballet when I was younger, but I never like really trained like as a prima. Um, so I did kind of did like a lot of different styles when I went to college. I did like a lot of commercial dance, like hip hop and jazz and stuff like that. But then what, I always did ballet growing up, like through my whole life. I just didn't specifically focus on it. Um, and then when I did Family in Paris, obviously a lot, like pretty much all of the training was in ballet, which was really nice. And I felt like I definitely grew as a dancer in ballet through all of my training with the show. Some amazing solos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see, okay, do you, what was the hardest thing on set? Hmm, that's a tricky one. I feel like filming, you know, like long days, a long, it was a very long shoot, it was six months away from home. There was like definitely days that were tougher than others, but it was as cheesy as it sounds. It's like you guys, the fans and like my cast and stuff, they just like keep me motivated and like pushing through to like get the show done. And, you know, I love being Lena and I love the show. And as much as like I had really hard days sometimes, um, you just got to push through it. And I think it would be, like being on because as an actor you've got to be on your game especially like 
I'm leading the show, like I've got, I bring the energy to, to set. I want everyone to be positive and happy. And so like, I had to bury a lot of things. And um, if I'm having an anxious day, like nobody can see that. I don't want anybody to see that because then that's going to affect the energy on the entire set. So I would say like the hardest thing is sometimes being on, especially when you're tired and you're feeling emotional and um, it's just keeping that like positivity and focus and, and stuff like that. That's a good question though. Oh, that's a good question too. Why is season three in the south of France if it's called Find Me in Paris? Well, you know that, I mean, I, I hope that you've all seen season two. Um, and by the end of season two, we're in the 80s. So you know that we must be there at the beginning of season three. Um, so we're kind of like, I think we go to a few different places. It's still in Paris. Um, and I can't wait for you to see because the stuff in the south of France is beautiful and really, really fun storylines too. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get to these questions. <laughs> um, oh, you guys are all so nice. Um, what is your biggest dream? Um, I don't really know. I just like, I just want to do this for a living. I want to be able to work as an actress for the rest of my life. Um, and I love doing it. So I honestly, I feel like I'm living my dream anyway. I just want to keep going with it and keep making shows and movies and inspiring people. That's my dream. Um, the best part of filming there's so many good things about filming like the locations are so beautiful Paris and the south of France was so amazing but honestly the best part about filming is my castmates like they're literally my family and I love them so much and I don't think I could have done it without them like they're amazing I'm so grateful that we all get along so so well <laughs> um season three when does it start on tv well season three is out on hulu on friday august 21st um and then after it will be on other networks but it's gonna air for the first time on hulu and then i think family in paris official page will definitely like keep you guys posted of when it's gonna drop on like disney and nickelodeon and hbo and all of them What is your favorite season of Find Me in Paris? I think we asked this question, but I, I think my favorite season three, just because I think the seasons get better and better as they go on. And there's like a lot of twists and turns in season three that you guys are not gonna expect. So I'm very, very excited. Okay guys, we've got 10 more minutes. Um, so if you have any other questions, we'll see, let's see. Oh no, keep doing that. Oh, your favorite quote that helps motivate you? That's such a good question. My main quote that's it's literally like my email signature and it's on my um, bio on my Instagram is spread love everywhere you go. I think it's so like cute and it's simple and I really am a big, big believer on that. Um, there's never too much love in the world. Uh, we could definitely use more of it. So that's my favorite quote. do you have a favorite line um in the show i actually loved in season one episode three when i actually say find me in paris that was like super cool um and then other than that i think that's probably it there's so many like funny lines and silly lines that lena says but i think that Find me in Paris when I actually said the name. That was like a cool moment. I was actually really stressed because I was like, this is like an important line. <laughs> <laughs> the most, 
complicated scene, I think that means. Um, I would say, I don't even know what the, the most complicated one was, but I know like when we have dancing scenes and we have to like act through the dance, that can be difficult because we have to think about a lot at the same time. Um, and especially scenes when you, you start really happy and then like you hear some bad news and you have to cry like in the middle of the scene. It's not like you can prepare to cry before they call action. It's like has to happen throughout the scene. That can be quite difficult. Um, yeah. So both ones. Yes, Henry is in season three and you can expect more music from him. I'm so excited for you guys to hear. There's so many fun things in season three, like I actually can't wait. I really don't know when it's gonna be on other networks, you guys, but I'm sure after it's aired on Hulu next Friday that the other networks will announce um, when it's gonna air. You guys are asking so many specific questions. I see you. I'm not telling you. I don't want to ruin it. Do you get on well with people on set? Yes, very well. Like I, like I said, we are such a family. Like our cast, we, we, keep, we keep in touch. We want to go on like a big trip when we can. Um, yeah, we get on so well. And that's what made like filming away from home so much easier is because I, I created my family there. Um, with my castmates. Tell us about Lena's love story in season three. Um, there's a couple of twists and turns, always, uh, but there's definitely a lot of romantic drama in season three. Like I said, that you'll, it'll be unexpected, um, which is nice. And of course, there's always like love triangles. And like I said earlier too, Lena's got a lot of love to give. So there's just, You'll see, and I'm excited for you to see. Oh, someone just asked about Lily. Oh. My fur baby is currently being dog sat by my mom outside of my room right now. <laughs> she came in at the beginning. She was like, I wanna be on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can read her mind. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I feel like that wraps up the live. Okay, I'll answer one more question. Do you have anything in common with your character? Yes, I feel like we're very similar, like very, very similar, which made it super enjoyable for me to play her. She's very passionate about little things and I feel like I am as well. Um, we, she really cares about other people and I think I do too. We like to see the best in everyone. Um, She's a little loopy sometimes, which I can definitely be <laughs> loopy. I'm sure my castmates can vouch for me on that. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. The, obviously, I'm not a time traveler, but other than that, we're very, very, very similar. Oh, this is an interesting one too. Uh, how is it to kiss a friend? I'm, I feel like you mean like kissing like uh, my castmates. Um, it's like not like a big deal like you would think at all like I feel like maybe the first time you're a little bit nervous because you're like do you kiss in the crew show or do you just kiss when the camera's on like when do you do it but after that like it, it just becomes natural it's just like you know part of the show part of our job and our characters once once we are playing our character we are fully in it so it's really not a big deal Okay. So. <laughs> uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning into the live. I will save it so that it's going to be up on the Family in Paris um, profile so you can rewatch. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all and stay tuned for the album and season three release on August 21st. Yay. Can't wait. Love you guys. <laughs>